hey guys you're welcome to my channel my name is genevieve and i'm a nigerian currently living in germany so today's video is going to be about most frequent questions that have been asked about life and just living in germany so i tend to get this question a lot and the simple answer is yes for you to be able to live in germany you have to know how to speak the german language there is no escaping it okay if you're coming to Germany for the first time, you do not need to be proficient in the German language, but I would advise that you expose yourself to the language and learn German at least at A1 level. Because in Germany, if you want to get naturalized, you have to present a German certificate of minimum of B1. Now, there are certain professions that you cannot be able to do without being proficient in the German language. Take, for instance, you want to be a doctor here or a psychologist, you cannot even do those jobs without being proficient in the German language. So if you're planning to stay here for the long term, if you're planning to have access to some kind of professions or to be able to grow career-wise in a certain way, then like there's no escaping it. You just have to get proficient in the language. Now, it's not as if there are no jobs that you can do without the German language, but those jobs are mostly IT-related and even the IT related jobs are beginning to ask for intermediate level of German. Jobs that do not require you to speak German are very few and highly, highly competitive. I compare Germany with countries like the USA, Switzerland, Netherlands, yeah, I could say the cost of living in Germany is not so high, but if I'm to look at Germany as a whole, I would not say the cost of living in Germany is low either. Cost of living in Germany is not that low. Like, take accommodation for instance. Accommodation in Germany is quite expensive and it's quite competitive. You pay between 800 to 2,500 euros or even more, depending on the location of where you stay in Germany just for rent. Now, for groceries in Germany, it's not really so expensive. I would say it's not really so expensive. Now, when it comes to salaries in Germany, I do not really think Germany pays so well in terms of salary. One, the salaries are really, really heavily taxed. And secondly, the, let's, let's say, for instance, you're a software developer in Germany. A software developer in a country like USA who does exactly the same thing that a software developer in Germany does, the person in the USA will earn far, far higher than the person who works here in Germany. What does it take to get a driver's license here in Germany? For people who come from countries like mine, Nigeria, if you have a driver's license in Nigeria, you can actually come to Germany with it, declare that you have a license in the, I think in the rat house, and then you can be able to use that license for the next six months. But after that, you would have to also you know, do a German driving license. And the German driving license is in two parts. There's the theory part and then there's the practical part. The theory part is in German. You have like 14 compulsory classes you have to attend all in German, but you can take the exam in whatever language of your choice. When I did my theory classes, I did the classes in German, but the app that was given to me by the driving school was in English and I was able to take my exams in English. So there are so many languages you can take the exams in. Now, after that, you have to do the practical aspect. And the practical aspect is basically where a lot of money is being spent. And the cost estimation for having a driver's license in Germany could range between 3,000 to I think even 6,000 euros. If you're able to do your driver's license for 3,000 euros, like it means you're able to get it very cheap because <laughs> getting a driver's license in Germany is quite expensive. Germany is actually a work-life balance. I wouldn't really strongly say that yes, there's a work-life balance. Even though I know in Germany, the work culture of not working more than a certain number of hours is actually very good for the employees. Germans do not like to overwork their employees. So even if you have the ability to work for 60 hours or 70 hours, no, there is a certain threshold you cannot pass. You're only allowed to work for a maximum of a certain number of hours. But then the life balance, is something I don't know because in as much as the work might not be well, like the, you're not overworked but <laughs> there's just always something to do there's always something to I don't know like I feel like somehow it's there and just somehow it's not there that's what I feel 
think I've said this before in my channel, the social life in Germany is highly dependent on where you stay. Like if you stay in smaller cities, then the social life might not be so interesting for you. And if you stay in bigger cities, the social life might be interesting for you. But then aside from location, there are also other factors. Take for instance, we as foreigners here in Germany, sometimes we don't even have time to meet up with each other like everybody is just so busy with one thing or the other and sometimes friendship in germany is very very fickle and very very fragile it's not really long lasting sometimes though you could be lucky to get good friends but like majority of the times it's not so you know so i feel like having a social life in germany there are just so many factors aside from location that you know that surrounds whether your social life here is going to be very interesting or it's not going to be interesting so when i got this question it made me laugh because i was like integrating into german society how easy is it like i feel like it's not so easy on a scale of one to then i'll say it's like a seven hard because there is just so much to know there is just so many rules so many regulations you have to know and you have to abide by like they live by a conduct in every aspect of their lives and you have to be able to know all these things before you be able to live here like taxes rules for driving appointment taking care of the kids um dealing with your school work um so many so many recycling oh my god recycling oh my god that's a course on its own recycling is a course on its own like for instance when we moved into this apartment and we painted it so usually like there are times when all these waste collectors who come to collect bulky waste come and then they take your bulky waste and go we found out that they cannot take the paint buckets so we have to give it to another kind of waste collectors like there's a special people who pick up just paint buckets and ever since i came here i didn't know that part like i knew other things about recycling but that particular one i had no idea about it and i was like are you guys kidding me like is this one also part of what i need to know so i feel like when anybody comes to germany newly when you get to the standard beholder which is the foreigners office you should be given a handbook about everything about germany numbers to call when you need certain things where to go where you need certain things and those books should be in different languages like it would actually make life a bit easy for everybody because there's just so much to do and sometimes these informations are not in your face they are not readily available to you you have to search for it intentionally like you're digging a hole or something like that if not you would not really get this type of information accessible to you so that's why i feel like integration in germany is just it's really not so easy like that because there's just so much you need to know about like learning german in germany is better yes than learning german outside of germany and the reason is just because you're among the natives so it will help you to learn a bit faster a bit better get used to the different accents and dialects of different people but the thing is learning german in germany is very expensive it is more expensive than learning it outside of germany that's just the honest truth and i feel like there's another aspect of especially for mothers that germany has to really sit up on because most of the schools where you learn german hardly have like a child care option and i feel like this sort of discourages a lot of like it makes integration like i said a bit harder like i feel like every city should have minimum of two schools where they teach german with a child care option there are certain cities you go to you get to see it but like it's not readily available everywhere and some places you go you would only even see just one and obviously that's going to be very competitive so someone asked me like would i advise like just anybody with any um backgrounds to move to germany and i said yes and no because in as much as we have so many fields career path here in germany it depends on a lot of things for people who have an engineering background it background health background nursing background or people who want to switch to all those backgrounds it's a bit easy for you not so easy but like there is a job market for these people a lot but for people who are not in this umbrella 
then the job market is really not so encouraging that's the honest truth especially if you are not proficient in german you would actually really really find it difficult of course you can't get a job in english in germany but it is highly competitive that's the honest truth and it's usually meant for people in a certain sector you know like it people engineers and it's mostly for certain locations like all these very diverse locations like berlin munich frankfurt Düsseldorf. you get to see jobs english roles in those type of locations you don't just see it everywhere here in germany now, this is a very good question when i came to germany newly some of the things that i struggled with earlier was mostly the language getting used to doing some certain things like taking the tram like if you want to take the tram from one location to another it's something you have to learn now because <laughs> at first it was not easy for me i was always confused but thankfully i was not mm -hmm. did not i didn't pass my bus stop at any time sure but <laughs> that's not easy and you know keeping appointments making calls to certain offices was pretty pretty difficult for me because sometimes I, I would jot down what I want to say based on I've gotten it from the translator now but when they give me their reply I get confused on what to give them back as a reply you know so those little, little things and then the weather yeah the weather geez oh my god I don't think I'll ever get used to the weather so I, I think I'm still struggling with that aspect I'm still struggling with it final tips for anyone who's planning to come to Germany is come with a truckload of patience it's not you know patience come with it in abundance because living in germany requires high level of patience everything in germany takes time like i've not seen any project that is done in this country that does not take time everything takes time everything has you have to have patience to everything so you will get what you want eventually but you have to understand that it is step by step secondly keep your expectations very realistic or even though do not come with a very overly high expectation i feel like some people just like when people exaggerate and sweet fine tune things for them like they just like to get only sweet sweet things but it's not necessary if you ask me it's better you know the truth you know exactly what the reality of things are you know instead of coming with very very high real, high expectation and then it is dashed it's better you even come with a realistic and low expectation and if something more beautiful or fantastic happens to you then all the better see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye